Hey Bratz, welcome back to the channel, and today I want to say I actually have no idea what to expect. I want to thank the developer of this game for sending me a code to try it out and check it out. It is called Vruppets, like uh, VR puppets basically, and from the trailer, or from this right here, it looks a little frightening to me. Uh, hopefully this isn't some kind of sneaky horror game. Let's get in and see what the heck this game is all about. All right, Vruppets. All right, so I recorded this whole thing yesterday and found out that it wasn't recording my audio. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take you through it real fast. We're gonna try and do a little more concise. One thing that I mentioned in the video a lot yesterday and then I realized after this game, uh, the movement is definitely very tricky. So if you have smooth turning on, it there's very little dead zone as far as if you're moving back and forth, you're moving left and right. So a lot of times when you try and turn left, you'll be turning left and going forward or backwards, and it's very disorienting. So I'm actually gonna try snap turning. I don't know what I did to activate. So yesterday, the whole thing was filmed from my perspective, and then today it's actually showing you guys just the camera view from out there. So everything I've shown you back here is kind of pointless. So maybe I'll bring the camera backstage and see if I can do a better job of kind of explaining this. I'm gonna be, like actually vlogging this because I'm gonna have to carry this camera around with me. Okay, so now I'm taking you on an actual tour back here. I'm being a cameraman inside of VR right now. So over here on the far left side, it, warning bugging on the construction. Yes, this is very early access. Uh, you have props here, so you can basically take these props and attach them to the puppets over there. You've got this different soundtrack, so you've got a couple different tracks here you can switch from. I'm just going to have to kind of point from here because I can't really get my hand out there far enough for you to see it. So you can change up the tracks you have here, change up the volume so you can kind of soundtrack what you're making. you got all these different puppets here. You can change the size and shape and you can actually control everything on them. So let me see if I can get this camera to stay right there. And you can adjust your height, which is pretty cool because you're always invisible. So it's actually a lot easier. Hello, everybody. My name is Frickin' Frog, and I'm going to explain to you what Vruppets is all about today. I don't know what the heck that voice was, but you get what I'm saying there. All right, so the control scheme is quite difficult still. Uh, you've got over here this... Oh, weird. So there's a screen here. You can't actually see it through the camera that is showing me what the camera is seeing. So then I can use that for back here as reference when I'm making the puppet shows. It's got different lighting effects that you can play with back here. So you can turn lighting on and off this screen on the screen or if I turn this on, I'll show you what this does. So then you can have a screen back here even to add to your puppet show that you're making. And then you can actually cycle through different screens. Oh my goodness, this is not going the direction I'm telling it to. But as the developer warned us, it is still very buggy and glitchy. And then you have this switch that draws the curtains here. So when you're actually ready for your puppet show, you can open up the curtains and then you can place this camera, of course, anywhere you want to. And then you've got some different effects here that you can add on. So you can do the fireworks and stuff to add to your shows. So, like I said, this is going to be kind of a short synopsis, but it is actually a very cool concept. I can't wait to see it fleshed out a little bit more because I know when I was a kid, my brother and I had a, a movie maker program that we spent a ton of time playing with, and it was really, it's really creative and it's actually really fun. It can be really fun and really be a good creative outlet, but this it definitely it's it's a work in progress here there's a lot more construction that needs to happen for this to be a fully fleshed out idea so now i'm actually in front of the camera but you can't see me at all which is really helpful because if you're using puppets you don't really want people to see you so i can grab these two puppets and now you can kind of see them on the camera you can't move once you have puppets in your hand which is kind of frustrating but it's because your your control sticks either move their eyes your triggers move their mouths Hey guys, 
I'm kind of sounding like Batman as a T-Rex. And I'm going to eat this uh, copyright save version of Mr. Meeseeks over here. No, don't eat me, please. Arm, 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 arm. <laughs> so that's my terrible short movie. So from out there, I'll show you kind of some of the other stuff that I was talking about back here. So, so there's different backgrounds, but then you can also have the background move. Reverse it, pause it. There's different lighting effects. So you've got different colors and brightnesses you can turn up on them. So you can tweak your lighting just how you want to where your puppets will show just right. Which is actually a really cool effect to see lighting done that well. And then of course you've got your props. So I can come out here and put a top hat on the dinosaur. Hum, hum, hum. <laughs> I guess the reason, so one reason here that I'm going to point out, the reason that they make each hand stick be able to turn is once you have a puppet in your hand, you can no longer turn or move with that other hand. So it kind of makes sense that if you wanted to be able to move around like this, you need to be able to move with your other joystick. I do not want to push myself too hard because this is, I haven't felt motion sick at all in a long time in VR. I've played VR for years, but this one kind of got me feeling a little, a little off yesterday. So I'm going to hop out and just kind of give you some final thoughts on this. So that is VR <laughs> puppets, ruppets whatever you want to call it so like i said i do give this game some extra props because it's a different concept you know we've got a million wave shooters in vr and they are some of them are super fun and some of them are super not fun but you don't see you don't always see new concepts in vr and one thing too that i want to say you're seeing a representation of the scanner it actually everything looks really smooth and good inside you don't see all of these all this choppiness that's going on here on the screen so it is actually a really cool concept and a really cool idea. I like that. Uh, they definitely need to work on the movement because I'm, I would consider myself a VR veteran and I never get sick. And I definitely, after playing it for probably about 40 minutes yesterday, trying to make that video, I did not feel great. Uh, the movement is really just a tricky style. And I would definitely recommend if any of you out there are not super used to VR movement, you're going to try this, definitely try the snap turns because the other movement is just crazy in here. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, if you if you want to check this out, the developers on Discord and they're kind of letting people help them test out and find bugs and glitches at this point. So I'll uh, leave a link in the description of that in case you want to check it out. And otherwise, I will see you in another game.